Have you ever wondered how to make smoked turkey breasts so tender and flavorful that there are never any leftovers? Today, I'm going to show you how to make smoked turkey breasts using a cider brine. I'll cover all the steps from brining to smoking and slicing. Plus, my best tips to keep your turkey juicy every time. So stay tuned until the end and let's get started. For a flavorful smoked turkey breast, you'll need apple cider, apple cider vinegar, water, salt, brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, your favorite barbecue seasoning, and of course, a turkey breast. You're gonna combine everything into a large bowl and stir until the salt and the sugar are fully dissolved. This brine is the secret to juicy, tender turkey breast. Make sure that the turkey is fully submerged in the brine. If you need to, add a little extra water to cover it completely. Then, cover the bowl and place it in the fridge. You're gonna to wanna to brine for about two hours per pound. So for my seven and a half pound turkey breast, I'm gonna let it soak for about 14 to 15 hours overnight. And then after the brining process, take the turkey breast out of the brine and pat it completely dry with paper towels. Drying the turkey helps the seasoning stick and gives us that beautiful crispy skin we all want. Then the next step is kind of up to you. You could either leave the turkey breast whole or it can spatchcock it. Spatchcocking not only makes your turkey cook faster, but it also helps it cook evenly. Perfect for your juicy result. Apply a generous layer of barbecue seasoning or rub over the entire turkey breast. Seasoning heavily adds incredible flavor, rich color, and helps avoid that dreaded rubbery skin. So don't be shy with it. When it comes to how to make smoked turkey breast, ensure that your smoker is preheated to 275 degrees Fahrenheit for the best results. And for this cider brine turkey, applewood is a perfect match. It adds a sweet smoky flavor that pairs well with the brine. Now carefully place the turkey breast into the smoker. We're aiming for an internal temperature of 160 to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's set it in the smoker, close the lid, and let the smoker work its magic. Look at that color. It has been about an hour, so let's give it a quick flip and ensure even cooking on both sides. If you notice any bare spots, feel free to speak on a little bit more seasoning for a great presentation. To keep our turkey looking gorgeous and crispy, it's essential to keep an even coat of seasoning and remove any excess moisture. This will help achieve that perfect golden color and deliciously crispy skin we're all after. And just to give you a heads up, it typically takes about 35 minutes per pound to smoke a turkey breast. So for easy math, a five pound turkey is gonna take about three hours. And my turkey right here, that is seven and a half pounds, is gonna take about five hours. So I'm gonna check back in a few hours. Now that our turkey is looking incredible, let's talk about the perfect pairings. I recommend serving your smoked turkey alongside some homemade smoked cornbread and grilled sweet potatoes for a complete meal that'll impress everyone at the table. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because those smoked cornbread and grilled sweet potatoes that you see here will be featured in future videos. You won't want to miss out on those recipes. Oh, and by the way, if you're new to backyard barbecue and want a little extra help with cooking times and temperatures, I've got a free guide that'll make things super easy for you. It covers everything from meats to veggies and is perfect for getting started. Just drop a 100 in the comments below and I'll send it your way. It has been about five hours of total cook time and our turkey breast has reached the perfect internal temperature. It's time to remove it from the smoker, but don't rush to carve it just yet. Let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. This resting period allows for carryover cooking to take place, which helps the turkey retain its moisture, resulting in a juicier final product. Now, it is definitely time to carve into this beauty. So start by running your knife along the center bone to separate the breast from the carcass. Slicing it at a slight angle will give you those beautiful presentation worthy slices that everyone will love. And don't throw away those bones. They're perfect for making a rich flavorful smoky turkey stock, which you can use to create a delicious gravy. It's a great way to maximize your turkey and add even more flavor to your meal. Now, let's take a look at this. The moisture and the tenderness of this turkey are just incredible. The apple cider brine has really infused the meat with an incredible sweetness, while the seasoning adds a perfect depth of flavor. The texture is so tender and juicy, it practically melts in your mouth. This is the kind of turkey that will have your guests coming back for seconds and thirds and fourths and fifths. So now you know how to make smoked turkey breast that's bursting with flavor. If you enjoyed this recipe and want to see more mouthwatering barbecue content, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And remember, when I mentioned that the smoked cornbread and grilled sweet potatoes will be coming up soon, well, click the video right here to check out the grilled sweet potatoes recipe. You won't want to miss it. I'll see you there.